10 movie Easter eggs that will make you love movies even more. An Easter egg is a secret message or an inside joke that appears in a movie. It makes the whole experience of watching a film 10,000 times better. That moment when you notice an Easter egg is honestly so satisfying that we just had to share some of our favorite Easter eggs with you. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will be talking about 10 Easter eggs that will make you love movies even more. Number 10. Easter Eggs in Rocky Horror Picture Show Have you ever wondered where the term Easter Eggs was born? Well, I certainly have, and after doing some research, I found out that it all started with the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Before the production of the film, the cast and crew had an Easter Egg hunt on set. However, not all the Easter Eggs were discovered, and some of them ended up in the movie. The audience was pretty curious and confused about the random Easter eggs, and that caused an emergence of the new term. Number 10. Frank Abagnale in Catch Me If You Can Catch Me If You Can is a crime story that was inspired by Frank Abagnale. Frank is a security consultant now, but he wasn't always one. In his early years, specifically between the ages of 15 to 21, Frank was a con man who used to forge checks. The movie, Catch Me If You Can, is actually based on his life story, and the best part is that Frank appears in the film. He can be seen as one of the police officers arresting Leonardo DiCaprio, who played Frank in the movie. So basically, this scene had real Frank arresting movie Frank. Number 8. Tangled and Frozen Crossover The movies, Tangled and Frozen, are among the most popular movies released by Disney. They receive so much love and attention that people still haven't forgotten these films. The release of the sequel, Frozen 2, made us go back and rewatch this movie. And we got so excited when we noticed this Easter egg. In the scene before Elsa's coronation when the castle doors open, the first two guests that we see are Rapunzel and Eugene from Tangled. Number 7. Pulp Fiction in From Dust Till Dawn we all love Tarantino. He's a genius when it comes to making films, and perhaps one of the most exciting things about his films is that they are all connected in a subtle way. Now, it may take some time to realize how they all tie together, but once you do, it's like a yes moment! In one of his movies, From Dusk Till Dawn, the hungry characters stop by a burger joint called Big Kahuna Burger. This burger joint also appears in Pulp Fiction, and it's the same place where Brett gets a burger before Jules and Vincent reach his place. That's a pretty sleek Easter egg, don't you think? Number 6. Mary Poppins 1964 and Mary Poppins 2018 Crossover Mary Poppins is an extremely popular American musical fantasy that kids and adults can't help but enjoy. The first movie was released in 1964, and it got 13 Academy Awards nominations, and became Disney's highest grossing film of that time. After all this success, you might assume that the sequel was scheduled immediately, but it took 54 years for this movie to be released. By this time, the cast of the original movie had gotten pretty old, but that didn't stop them from cameoing in the sequel. Karen Dottris, the original Jane, can be seen on the street when Jack the Lamplighter is talking to the new Jane, Emily Mortimer. Karen stops to ask for directions, and once someone helps her, she says many thanks, sincerely, which is actually a reference to one of the film's original songs. Number 5. Starbucks in Fight Club It seems that today we'll be breaking some rules by talking about the Fight Club. We'll also be talking about the iconic movie stars Brad Pitt and Edward Norton, and how Fight Club became one of the most talked about films in 1999. However, despite all the publicity that it got, many people were not able to notice this Easter egg. It seems that the director, David Fincher, is obsessed with Starbucks, because he managed to add a Starbucks coffee in every scene. Did you ever notice that? Number 4. The Shining in Toy Story the Shining is a psychological horror movie that was released in 1980. The movie was a huge hit and it became a staple of pop culture. Despite its popularity, it's pretty freaking strange that the kids movie, Toy Story, had references to The Shining throughout the series. Say what? The first nod is in the scene at Sid's house when his carpet matches the one from the hotel in The Shining. Along with that, there are many references to the number 237, which is Jack's room number in The Shining. Number 3. Oranges in The Godfather 
The Godfather Trilogy is a series of crime films about an Italian-American mafia family. Now, considering the movie revolves around a mafia, there is obviously a lot of bloodshed, violence, and of course, death. The genius director, Francis Ford Coppola, has slipped in a pretty interesting Easter egg. What is that? Well, whenever a character is about to die, oranges appear on the screen. Did you notice that? Tell us in the comments below. Number 2. The Symbol X in the movie Departed The Departed tells a twisted crime story involving the Boston police and an Irish mob. Now, this movie also has a lot of bloodshed, violence, leading up to death. Now, the crazy and exciting part is that you actually predict the deaths in this movie. How? Well, whenever a character is about to die, an X appears on the screen. Mark Wahlberg's character is the only one who doesn't have a scene with an X, and he's the only one left alive at the end. Number 1. Alfred Hitchcock cameos in 39 of his feature films Alfred Hitchcock is one of the most successful directors of all time. He has directed some amazing hits, such as Psycho, The Birds, Vertigo, and Rear Window. The iconic director has cameoed in 39 out of 52 of his feature films. In the movie, The Birds, you can see him leaving in the pet shop along with his real-life dogs. That's all we have for you guys today. Hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. See you in the next one!